Hello everyone, welcome to a new CSGO editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you the new kill fee commands with HLE after the panorama update. So first up, you need to head over to advancedeffects.org forward slash download and download the latest version of HLE. Download that and extract it to uh, somewhere. I'm going to use my desktop. Uh, in the folder, uh, find HLE and run it. Make sure you click yes for updates. You always want to be using the latest version. Go to tools, go to tools, developer and custom loader. Now for program path, what you need to find is your csgo.exe. Head over to browse and find it. Uh, I installed it to my C drive. Uh, most of you will probably have it installed in your C drive as well. So that's where it will be. And once that is done, in the command line, type in panorama because you want to be using the panorama updates. Uh, if the update is already out, you won't need to type this. And after that, I'm going to be using a custom resolution of 1600 by 720. And once that is done, for, uh, for DLLs to inject, uh, click browse and select AFX hook source DLL. And once that is done, press OK and CSGO will launch. Alright, once it's loaded, now you should see this Valve Anti-Cheat uh, notification pop up on your screen. If this pops up, that means it's working and we can continue. Uh, so, press Shift F2 on your keyboard or type Demo UI, Demo UI on your console. And click Load and find a demo to use. So, I'm just going to quickly find a demo that I have. Uh, this one will do. And make sure you copy the tick number and open it. Okay, once you're in the demo, uh, I'm just going to quickly clear it. Use the demo underscore go to tick command and to get to your frag that you want to record. Right, once you've gotten to the place you want to go, uh, make sure you select the player you want to record. So in this case, I'm going to be using uh, this guy here. And uh, now what we're going to do is to highlight the player. So the first command is merv list entities is player equals one. Uh, this will bring a bunch of uh, IDs for all the players in the game. And uh, my player name is Valcon Noob. So that is what I'm going to be looking for. So in case, in this case, yeah, this is my XUID. So what we need to do is copy that, just copy that and uh, paste into a text document somewhere so you can use it. Once we have the XUID, we can start uh, doing all the things. So the first command is to block out all the death notices other than your player. This is the command we're going to be using. Uh, so, and what we need to replace is this XUID here with the, uh, the number you got before. And I'm just going to paste that in with the... One I'm going to use and uh, if for victim match this is for when he dies so it will also be highlighted here uh, we're not going to do that for this tutorial but if you wish to do that you can press enter and now every other kill that isn't his uh, will be blocked out now to highlight it the command is merv death message to local player and uh, enter your x uid that you had before so I'm just going to copy and paste that to here now every time uh, the uh, kill thing pops up, uh, it will be highlighted in red, which is nice to have. Now the next command you want to use is the merv underscore death message lifetime. This will pretty much determine how long the death notice stays up on the screen for. So in this case, it will be 90 seconds. Uh, if you want it for less, uh, you can type whatever you want. So if you want it for 30 seconds, if you want it for a minute, type 60. If you want 180 seconds, I usually leave it at 90. A minute 30 is uh, pretty much good enough for all the kills I'm going to be needing. And what you can also do is the Merv Death Message Lifetime Mod. This will pretty much times the uh, lifetime amount by whatever value you put here. So if we put 2, it will times 90 by 2, which is 180. So it will pretty much double the amount here. Uh, I'm not sure why you would do this since you can just type it here, but it's, it's nice to have. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial, but you guys can if you want to. Now, if you don't want any assist to show up in the kill feeds, 
all you have to do is type MP display kill assist zero. That will get all, all the that will get rid of all the assists within the kill feeds. So it only shows your player. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but that's there. And after that, you can pretty much record uh, what you need. But if you are like me and sort of don't like this guy's name because I don't know some reason. Um, what you can do is replace it with this command smurf replace name filter adds uh, replace the x uid here and in this case i'm going to replace it with my name so insert name here and i'm going to put my username which is this and so now every time he gets a kill it will have my name instead and if i just go ahead and play the uh, demo it should have my name like so all right cool uh now if you and now if, after you've finished recording and you want to get rid of this all you have to do is type mirth underscore death message uh filter clear that'll get rid of all the settings you just did and it should be completely gone all right another thing you can also do is fake the kill feed so to do that all you have to do is type Mirth underscore death message debug one and uh, then wait for a kill uh, like that and now you have the attacker ID and the victim ID and the, then all you need to do is use this command this command here and replace the ID of the attacker so in this case it's 145 and the victim is 147 and then you change the weapon so I'm just gonna leave it AK-47 and make it so he gets headshots and then you can just spam it like so it should appear like that and uh yeah uh if you wish to get rid of the debug notice every time you get a kill what you have to do is type that and then you won't get any more in the uh, console and uh yeah that's pretty much it now if all that is too complicated and you just want to have the kill highlighted and block out all the other death notices what you can do is download this config uh, created by Chet Jong of the HLE server. I also believe he is the editor for the Movie Nations uh, demo channel. All you have to do is uh, paste this into your movie making config or just create a new CFG like I did. And all you have to do is exec it. So in this case, I'm going to type the kill feed. That's what I've named it, CFG. And now it's enabled. Uh, press H on your keyboard and that will enable so that whatever play you're viewing it will highlight the kill feed for it so if we press play and it will be highlighted all right so i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful uh please like and subscribe if you did all the commands uh, that used that i've used in the video will be in the description uh and i'll see you guys in the next one